Hi there. Welcome to Malwix.com tutorial videos. In this video, I want to share the latest method of activating Windows Linux subsystem or which is known as Linux Bash initially. I recently created or published an old video that I made years ago from my other channel and I just realized today it is not working anymore so I want to make another video to update that with the latest working method. If that sounds good to you, please let me know in the comments below by typing good and let's get started. First, in your Windows 10 device, go to Start menu then search for PowerShell. Now check our blog Then copy pase this code into your PowerShell application and press enter to run as command Then press Y to confirm the reboot of your computer to apply system changes A few moments later Once your system has rebooted Go to Start menu once again or search bar of your desktop then search for Developer Settings and click on it. Enable the Developer Mode and exit off the settings. Now it's time to install our Linux distribution. To get started, open Microsoft Store in your desktop. Then search for Ubuntu Distribution by Canonical Group Limited. Press Get once landed to the page if you haven't already. I already did it last time the reason why my screen is showing open button instead of get button. Once it is showing open, click on it to install the distro to your Windows device. It might take some time. Please wait for about 1 to 3 minutes. A few moments later. Now, it is asking us to create for a new Unix user account. Let's provide a new username here. It doesn't have to be your Windows username. It is a different one. Also, admin user is not possible. I will use my name for this. Next, let's add a password for our new user account. The password we type will not show. Just add your password and retype then press enter once again to confirm. Now, we want to change our root password to get access to it directly when necessary. But we will need to log in as root to do that. So, to get started, let's run sudo su to do this and hit enter. Add your recently created username password. Once logged in, we can now run pass wd command for the change password for our root account. It should be just the same when creating a new password at first time with the new user account. Just answer the prompted questions. Congratulations! You have just set up Windows Linux subsystem to your Windows machine and you are ready to SSH to your device through any remote server. Just open SSH console by searching from your desktop to Ubuntu 18.04 or run CMD with that command. If in doubt, don't hesitate to contact me in the community linked in the description of this video. Also, don't forget to check the blog for more information. I have posted all the necessary commands for you to follow through from this tutorial. Thank you for your time. I would appreciate any comment if you haven't already. Until next time, take care.